Hey, what's going on everybody? It's, uh, it's fall and uh, leaves are dropping. So I decided to uh, fork over a little cash and get myself one of these McCullough blowers. This is a, a GBV322 garden blower. Yeah, so we'll do an unboxing, check it out, and uh, see if it's worth it. Um, I recently bought a Bosch battery-powered one and uh, through Amazon and didn't realize that it was kind of a small little, uh, probably good for grandma's front porch. Um, so I ended up turning that back in and then uh, grading up and getting this gas-powered one. So yeah, let's tear this thing open, show you what it looks like inside, fire it up, and then uh, see what it does in the garden because I got a lot of leaves I got to blow. So let's do it. Cheers, brother. Cheers. 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 This here, and I'm actually, here's the flight feathers. All right, so let's see what we got inside here. Got a couple of attachments. All right. Dandy dandy wrench. Instructions. The brains of the outfit. And obviously the bag suck up the leaves. And probably some sort of strap to Lighten the load. This particular leaf blower I actually bought for uh, just to blow leaves. Um, the fact that it's got like a vacuum to it, uh, it's not really what I was really interested in because I don't know, I just think that that's kind of funny. The amount of leaves that I have, um, I don't necessarily know if this is like vacuum option would really work, but I guess it also has a mulcher to it as well, so it's a three-in-one. Uh, they're calling it the uh, three-in-one petrol blower vacuum and mulcher, and it's idea for all garden work. So anyways, here you go. This is a two-stroke. Um, obviously, we've got our fuel reservoir. Uh, we've got our choke here, and we've got our primer. Pull start, and uh, looks like we've got safety on and off or actually here's on and off and then here's your safety. No, actually that's not true. Here's your on and off. And this looks like what you can do here is you can permanently keep that on, kind of save your finger from a little, I don't know, soreness, I guess, later on. First though, it's kind of rocking a little bit. I'm not too sure why that handles rocking like that. That's pretty strange. Maybe it's just loose, but that does feel kind of weird. So we'll take a look at that. But yeah, let's put this thing together. Get some gas and tighten this handle up, hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and top her off with a little two stroke. Gas and oil mix. I ended up taking the uh, back of these screws off of this handle. It was rocking so much and tried to do a little investigation on what's going on, but I guess it's supposed to be that way. It's called a comfort handle. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that, but I guess maybe it's gonna help reduce the vibration in your hand. So you see what I'm saying, it kind of rocks back and forth a little bit, but if you look up underneath, there's like these rubber grommets, rubber washers on both sides of this bolt, and uh, I think that's what it's doing. It's, I think that's the purpose of it, but I don't know. That would be probably my first negative um, grade on this, this machine so far. So all right, so we've got some gas in it, and let's go ahead and prime it up. Get that thing filled up. Fire it up, choke on.
Alright guys, so far I'm still a little skeptical on that handle part. I get why it's there, um, just for that vibration, that anti-vibration or whatever, but it just kind of gives you this feeling of like, it's a little unstable. Um, maybe it's just something I have to get used to. Uh, the power is pretty good so far, but let's go ahead and try these other two accessories, the sucker and the mulcher. Alright, let's get this suction accessory put together. Okay. Throw the bag on. Got this little safety safety screw here. Got this little safety screw. It's got to be backed out. If you can see that. So, so. Okay. Pop this okay. open. And then throw this attachment onto it. I guess. Boom. <laughs> this thing's crazy. And uh, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, okay. Now I get it. Here's where the uh, strap comes into play. Probably would help if I read the instructions, but ain't got no time for instructions. All right, that makes sense. All right. Fire this up. Okay, so it took on that little pile pretty well. And I guess what this is supposed to do is this will actually mulch this. So let's take a look and see what it looks like inside. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's clearly chopped up. I mean, it's not consistent throughout the whole, but hey, it'll help it biodegrade quicker, I guess. I don't know. This is probably something that I probably wouldn't use um, just because of the scale. Um, I think it would work out pretty good for someone that doesn't have too many leaves to deal with. Um, but so far it seems to work. It's a little awkward to get used to and probably not holding it correctly. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure it all makes sense if you read the directions. But so far so good. One of the main reasons why I bought this McCulloch is because I bought a mower about five or six years ago from the same brand and every year I pull that thing once or twice and it starts right up, no issues. So the motor's pretty solid, definitely. So, and this thing starts pretty quick too. thing you got to keep in mind when you use this thing is it's not a chipper <laughs> I mean literally if you get any kind of twig in there or anything it's gonna probably seize that up inside um, leaves just straight leaves so you got to watch out for that but it's still fun all right there it is McCoy um, Pro, power good, pull start. One, two times, it's fired up, ready to roll. I like it. Uh, definitely, like I said, enough power. Uh, con, the wobbly handle. Still not getting used to that. Not too sure if I'm gonna like really keep this thing because of that. Um, I'm sure it's got its reasonings. If it was engineered this way, it's probably good. Uh, combats carpal tunnel or whatever, you know, soreness of the wrist. But I don't know, I just like it being able to be, I don't know, it just feels more controllable when this handle's not so wobbly. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty cool. Those little accessories, again, um, I didn't really buy it for the, uh, the sucker shredder thing. I just bought it to blow. Um, so I probably won't use those other two things. Um, or the other, yeah, that suck it, basically. 
uh, and shred it. I don't necessarily know. I just got a rake and a compost pile, and that's pretty much good enough for me. Uh, so I'll play around with it for a couple more days, and uh, if I grow to like it, then cool. But yeah, it's definitely got enough power for sure, and it's super easy to start. So um, th those are big, those are big uh, uh, pros for me to consider keeping it uh, for the long term. So, all right, guys, hopefully this helped you out, give you a good idea about this particular model. And uh, until next time, ciao.